If you're using Windows 10 for gaming, your Windows is probably not fully optimized for games. So today I'm going to show you how you can fully optimize your Windows 10 with some settings that you can change. And this is completely free without any downloads of third party programs or something like that. This is just inside the Windows PC. Okay, so let's get started. So the first setting that we can change, we go here to start and go to this gear, this gear icon on settings. And then here we're going to click on gaming and we're gonna turn off this game bar just turn it off and we're gonna untick this as well just untick this and then we go to game mode here and then we put this on make sure this is on it's not off and we're gonna go home here now the next setting that we will change is go to privacy here and here we're gonna untick everything from here every setting and here on diagnostic and feedback we're gonna untick this as well and just just go to basic and here we're gonna scroll down and make sure everything is turned off And here we're going to press and delete. And here we're going to put never. And here on background apps, this is pretty important. This as well is using a lot, a lot of RAM and CPU. So I'm going to turn off this as well. And app diagnostics off automatic. This is off this off pictures of file system off and now we go back here to the home now after we done that go to system here and then we go to storage and here we're gonna put this on we're gonna turn this on and go to configure storage sense or run it now and here we're gonna put this on every week and make sure this is on like this and we're gonna go back and now here again we will go here to system and then here we go to power and sleep and here we go to additional power settings here on the right side and here we're gonna choose high performance this one this profile if you don't see this high performance you will see this show additional plans and you will see here high performance and now we go to this change what the power button do and change settings that are currently unavailable click on that and make sure you turn off this turn on fast startup recommended make sure this is off because when you shut down your PC, your PC is not fully shut down. And when you shut down, if you, if this is off, if this is disabled, then your PC, when you shut it down, it will clear, clear all the RAM from it. And here, when you've done that, we click on here and change plan settings and change a plan, change advanced power settings. And here we're going to go and scroll down and click here on pci express make sure you click on this plus button and make sure the settings on this is off like i have here make sure it's off and we're gonna scroll down a little bit when you see processor power management and here on minimum is 100 percent as you can see on all of them is 100 percent now if your pc overheats or as you, if you see your laptop it hits a lot then you can go if it overheats your laptop or pc then you can go to maybe 90 or 95 percent or even 85 here on minimum and on maximum go a little bit lower if your pc overheats a lot after we change that settings we go again back to this page here on home and then here we go to 
personalization and here we go to colors and here we're gonna on this at uh, transparency effects we're gonna turn this off because this uses a lot of, of gpu and cpu so the next settings we're gonna go on home back here go to update and security and make sure you have the latest updates for your windows pc so we go back here on home we go to system again here and then we go to about and then here we go to advanced system settings and then we go to these settings here then when you're here click on this adjust for best performance and then here make sure you enable peak this one then you enable the show thumbnails instead of icons and then we're gonna take this one smooth edges of screen fonts and the last one is this one show window contents while dragging and just there are four settings of them which i recommend you to let them on four of them and click ok and here again on system we go to remote desktop and if you don't use this i recommend you to turn this off like i have here now we go and close this and now we're gonna go to our start and we're gonna type run like this run and we're gonna click on this run and we're gonna type here temp like this and click ok then here we're gonna click on continue and here we will have a bunch of files these files are temporary files so we don't need them right now so we're gonna click here Control plus a and press delete and then we're gonna delete them Control plus a and delete all of them and now we can close again and we go again to start and we type again run and now it will not be temp but will be percent temp percent and click ok and again we're gonna click and control plus a to select everything and then right click on them and press and delete and here we're gonna click on do this for all current items click on continue I'm gonna wait for everything to if this pop up just go for all current items and click on skip and then we're gonna close this this clears all the temporary files and all RAM data and then we're gonna go again here and again we type in run and we're gonna type in prefetch like this prefetch and we click ok here and again we click on continue and again we go control plus a we right click on it again and click on delete and we're gonna wait for them to delete then go do this for all items and click on skip and we're gonna close this window and the one more thing that we i have for you to to change is right click on your start and go to this device manager so after you're here in this device manager we click on this system devices on this arrow we click on it and you will see here somewhere high precision event timer so right click on it and click on disable device and here click on yes if for some reason your fps is worse after this just go right click on this event timer and enable device again after you've done that just close this and that's how you optimize windows 10 for gaming thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos like this and see you in next video bye